Yes, it's true, Marlena really was possessed by the devil on Days of Our Lives. With the NBC soap currently revisiting the infamous possession storyline from the mid-90s, it seemed the perfect time to offer up a recap of what actually went down when the devil came to Salem. Some newer fans might be looking for some history, and even longtime fans might need a refresher. After attempts by Kristen Demare to keep them apart failed, Marlena Evans and John Black were finally reunited. However, what the happy couple didn't know was that the evil Stefano Demera had built a secret passage into her apartment through an armoire that allowed him to visit his queen at the night as Marlena slept. He began drugging her to make her susceptible to his advances, but it also opened her up to something else entirely. Marlena began vandalizing the church and experiencing dizzy spells. While resting, her bed began shaking and she levitated above it. After her furniture moved by itself, Marlena screamed and passed out. At the hospital, she insisted that someone was in her apartment, but was too terrified to say who. After returning home, the devil spoke through her, vowing John wouldn't win. She grabbed a pair of scissors intending to stab him, but the devil gave Marlena back control of her body before anything happened. Just a little off the top, John? Gary Null slash NBC slash NBCU photo bank while possessed, Marlena dropped a chandelier during Bo Brady and Billy Reed's wedding. She also stripped Kristen naked and painted pentagrams on her body before chaining her to an altar at the church. The devil also disguised Marlena as Kristen to try and seduce John, who was a priest, but he was able to resist. When Stefano paid one of his nightly visits to his queen, Marlena nearly strangled him to death. The devil also trapped John, Tony Demera, and Kristen in the church before setting it on fire. Marlena tried to take refuge in a church where she would be safe but the devil lured her out by a vision of her daughter, Sami Brady, being attacked by the ghost of Curtis Reed who had been brought back from hell. The devil easily took control of Marlena again and an exorcism was performed to save her soul. The devil had Marlena pretend the exorcism was successful before transforming into a monstrous creature and attacking Stefano, throwing him off the balcony. It's a good thing John happened to a priest at the time so he could save Marlena's soul. Gary Null slash NBC slash NBCU photo bank a subsequent exorcism appeared to take Marlena's life and when John visited her body in the morgue, she attacked him. As they struggled, John asked what he wanted and the devil offered to leave Marlena if the priest would give up his soul. When he called out to God for help, the devil was frozen and John was finally able to use the power of God to cast the devil out of Marlena and send him back to hell. After 25 years, Marlena had put that part of her life behind her, but as the saying goes, evil never dies. Stay tuned to Days to see what chaos the devil causes this time around. Adblock test, why?